What's up guys? We talk about this pair of 1985 and 86 Honda ATC 350Xs. Do have some pretty exciting news though. Um, we finally got with the 21st century and got us a website. So here are our links to all of our social media. Website is da-restorations.com, Instagram, da underscore restorations underscore Travis. Facebook, you can find me at Travis Just Claire or DNA Restorations. And eBay, I'm DA Restorations. So follow me, buy some stuff, enjoy my sites and pages, and give me some feedback. Um, pretty excited about my website, and hope you guys are too. But, anyways, up for review here is this pair of 85 and 86 ATC 350Xs. I just did a, a what's different on. 85 and 86 250 or so i figured i could do the same with this one this 86 is not 100 percent original has a couple little things different which are not much but i'll note those in the video and just show you guys some differences so you could uh have an educated decision if you ever go to buy a pair of these or one or whatever i guess we're gonna start with the subtle things 85 same as the atc 250rs they have black buttons and a red run switch 86 yellow gray and red um 86 has shasta white gas tank with white honda decal 85 has a lemming gray or a creamier white with red honda decal so red then you got red white blue red red white blue but it's a little bit different so those are some differences um <clears throat> engine wise they're almost the same the clutch cable routing is a big deal on the 85s because they were a known issue clutch cable on the 85 actually routed down right here came in between the exhaust and the clutch lever pulled forward like so that was a big problem clutch cables melted they got sticky they started seizing up so right away they realized hey we made a mistake so on 86 they did a retrofit now the clutch cable routes around down forward of the radiator the oil cooler across the left side of the motor and behind the cylinder head to avoid heating issues this clutch pull actually pulls more sideways now the heat shield on 86 and 85 are different but this is an 85 heat shield on an 86 that's one of the things that's not original 85 had 350x on the seat 86 had atc on the seat <clears throat> 86 had the raised embossed dual raised embossed rear fender decals uh rear fenders in white 85 had none no no high embossing nothing now i've heard rumors that later model 85s they did actually did have an a raised emboss which is i haven't seen one in person but pretty cool to think about toolboxes same situation 85 is the elongated toolbox that uh basically looks the same except different lids or looks very similar this one, flat, square, a little different. Um, rear sprocket setups are almost the same, but rear brakes are different again. 86 has, you can't really see it, but they have a, the brake, uh, I think I can't think of the word right now, but where the brake rides, it is on a slide on the swing arm. On the 85, very different setup. It has this, this uh, elongated arm that goes to the swing arm exhausts are almost identical wheels are a bit different 85 wheels just a clean plain style front and rear 86 has the milled centers uh, you can see same front and rear this is unique to 1986 atc 350x's the what else would be different hub colors hub colors on the 86 black and black 85 is a darker charcoal 
hard to see in the shadow, but it's more of a charcoal color. Same thing on the front. It is like a charcoal color, almost the same color as an 86 ATC 250R engine. Uh, both have the same rear, same headlights, upper fork. This is something I didn't note in my 85 video either. The upper tree on 86 is black on 86 models. Upper tree on 85s is polished. So that's a difference as well. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of any other subtle differences I could think of right off the bat. Uh, I think that might be close to it besides a few mechanical changes. But besides that, I mean, here we are, another set of beautiful machines. This 85 is absolutely incredible. It's extremely low hour. Very, very nice. Uh, just impressive machine here. Uh, this is for a, a customer of mine in Texas, and it's just incredible. This one here, also a beautiful machine. Not quite the caliber of the 85, but just all in all, really beautiful 86. Uh, going to a cus new customer in Washington State. So this one got a long road trip ahead of it. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And don't forget, visit my site. Y'all have a good day.